Hello and welcome to Entertainment on Vanguard Life. I am Precious Chukudi and I have with me, I am super excited about this because I've been talking to her before we got on set and she's a very pleasant person to talk to. I am with uh, Jennifer Enujuga, right? Enujuga. Enujuga. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> yeah, I skill trip it. Yeah, Enujuga, and she's a plus size model and also an influencer. Oh my God, it's good to have you join today me today. Good to be here. I'm feeling starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's delve in. Who is Jennifer? I mean, tell us about um, you, plus okay. size model. Plus size model, yeah. creative consultant, and um, I create content once in a while, basically. Mm -hmm. so just a simple girl trying to survive in mm. Nigeria. All right. So, what was the journey like? Give us a brief history of your background, like growing up. At um, growing up, uh, I grew up with my younger sister, okay. and um, I went to four different secondary schools. I was just stubborn. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I schooled at Abiafe University, okay. uh, Manofan, mm, what else? So I, I studied crop production and protection, okay. agriculture. So people still wonder how I left agriculture for entertainment and fashion. It's crazy. Are <laughs> they still wondering? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a usual now. It's a normal. Yeah, people do that. So, um, so I started modeling. The first time I ever modeled was um, in school. Uh, a friend reached out, like, he's trying to start this project and all that. Like, mm -hmm. I should, ah, they have a pretty face, so let me just use your face. I'm like, oh, okay, awesome. So when did it? It came out nice, we used it for billboard. And um, I figured, hmm, why not? I could try this again. And then I used to be, a, like, a professional dancer. Um, okay. hmm. Geography and all that. Professional. <laughs> I need to see this dance. <laughs> Jennifer, you will show me now. <laughs> <Hello>. okay. eh? <laughs> so I used to do um, contemporary and hip-hop. Okay. So, um, but I never really thought that I would be the model because I had a bit of tomboyish thing <laughs> going back in school. And then you have the height too. Yeah. So some people wonder, ah, you should play b-ball. You know, mm -hmm. you have the the height, mm -hmm. you have the stature. You know, but I chose dancing. And when I found out about modeling, I'm like, why not? Why not try? But the first beauty pageant I attended, I came second because they said that I wasn't skinny. Right, I wasn't mm. slim, so they can't give me first position. I felt so bad, and I started trying to lose weight. Okay, you know, but it wasn't working. Apparently, losing weight is not for everybody. You know, but <laughs> please <laughs> tell them they need to hear this thing. So the next time anybody calls me <laughs> fat, <laughs> word from Jennifer: ah, losing weight I is tried, not for everybody. Me, I tried, and then until I stumbled upon Ashley Graham, okay, plus size model. And I'm like, really? So I can be eating and getting paid. Interesting. Okay. Mm. So that was how the plus size journey started. And it's been interesting mm. for a while now. It's been interesting. Ups and downs, the fun parts, the challenges. Mm. All right, let me take you back where you said uh, you didn't win because they said, um, I mean, you're not skinny. Yeah. Usually, most people would be like, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Especially because, we, uh, you know, Nigerian women are very, very, pa you know, they, they, they take, yeah. they listen to when people speak They're about their, yeah, very that, sensitive. Yeah. They listen to when people t talk about um, their health, their weight. So you tell yeah. a woman she's fat, you've made her yeah, day course, yeah. a, a terrible yeah. one. Sure. So like, how did you, you know, how are you able to move on from that and still feel like, okay, you could still carve a niche for yourself in, you know, still being a plus size model? Okay, so it wasn't easy. Um, I decided after that happened, I said, okay, go back, stick to your dancing, you know, and you don't have to do the whole modeling thing. But I, I was drawn to this, you know, the spotlight, the glamour. I loved, you know, how the models carry themselves elegantly. And I'm like, why not? Just try it one, once more. Just try. And um, as a dancer, I already had the brand, the plus size girl that can dance. So mm. it was easy. And but I wanted more. I wanted to feel like a lady. I wanted to be all glammed up and the lights and the clothes and the shoes mm -hmm. and all. So I kept on trying to make research about how to either lose weight or you know be a model with my size and all. So I didn't give up. Mm -hmm. I guess it's the passion for it that kept me. Because if not, ah. 
I just been shamed into, you know, mm-hmm. not even going outside, just mm. stay indoors and don't yeah. do anything that has to do with spotlight. Sure, yeah. All right. Uh, speaking about size, would you mind to give us like your statistics? Your size. Uh, I'm a size 18. Yeah. Um, my hips is 57. My waist is 45. My bust is 38. Nice. And my nice. Height is 6.1. <laughs> I'm feeling short. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm feeling short. <laughs> Don't feel bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, being you, said, you mentioned uh, Ashley Graham, right? Yeah, yeah. So aside from her, who are like the people who are your mentors in this industry? Um in recently I fell in love with Tabra Major. Right? She's doing some amazing things. Um she's creating content for herself. Then people reach out to her to um pay for one or two of her contents. So she's one of so it's just both of them actually. Ashley Graham and Tabra Major. Mm. They inspire me so much how far they've gone with their work and feels like they can actually do everything. Yeah. Mm. But um I aspire to be better. Mm. Yeah, so those are the two people that I look up to. All right. So regarding uh you know the plus size industry what are the things that you love about it and what are the things that you don't like about the industry? Um, hmm. So I love the fact that you can't, as you say, you can't still eat whatever you want to eat mm. and get away with it. Uh, I love that. I love the fact that when we wear outfits, it, it tends to you know, look really nice. The curves and all that is there. Um, I love the fact that um, where when I'm on the wrong way, it feels like I'm the only girl on the planet. You know, that That's how it's supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> so then the the things I don't like about it is the body shaming involved. Mm. I you know, I don't like the fact that it takes like a whole lot for them to even get plus size in a project. You mm. know, as long as in Nigeria especially, you know, I felt like um I feel like things have evolved to a point where mm. we need to be more inclusive, you know. And um, a lot of brands outside the country are doing that, but most co- brands in Nigeria are not. And I think that it should change. So. Mm. All right. How would you, you know, you just mentioned a lot of brands are, uh, you know, are doing the outside the country. And how would you now rate, you know, the choice of outfit for plus size models in the country? Because I, I would like to just, you know, put a scenario in mind. Uh, I remember, you know, a couple of times people have said that plus size um, outfits are not nice, you know, yeah, they, they, they just yeah, do sometimes. whatever they want to do for them. So, so you, we get to see more plus size people look at, um, you know, clothes for skinny people and say, I, I wish they could create, you sure. know, bigger sure. size for us and sure. stuff like that. So how would you rate it in the industry right now, since everybody's becoming so fashion forward? Yeah, so I feel like it, um, a lot of plus size, sorry, a lot of designers should yeah. cater for plus size. You know, I know that some the things that fit the, f- the skinny people or rather the slim people, they don't mm. fit a plus size person. So they should actually, you know, work on how to make plus size look amazing. Mm. You know, we don't have to wear Jalamia for every time we want to go out. Boo-boo. Yeah, yeah, boo-boo. <laughs> you know, we can still really look, you know, really sexy. Knowing the fact that you're plus size, yeah, it's okay to be plus size, you know, mm. but at the same time, you can still feel sexy as a plus size woman. So plus designers should concentrate on making clothes for plus mm. size they shouldn't just feel because this person is big mm. let me just make something that will just mm. just like yeah. that you know no fitting no you know, so i won't blame when p- a lot of plus size people want to slim down because they don't see what to wear in the market and you maybe you have your friend and she buys this really amazing and sexy outfit you guys mm. are going for a wedding yeah and she steps out looking amazing and you just like uh, you have these clothes that you bought in the market that mm. feels like you're a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't have to go there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that designers should, you know, be intentional about making clothes for plus size. Mm. All, all right, let's talk about gigs. I mean, every time we go online and we're trying to buy things online or, uh, you, you know, we just get to see you know, slim people do more adverts than yeah. even plus yeah. size people. So sometimes when we get to see, you know, chubby people who do more like, okay, this is really nice. Yeah. I wish we could have this too for slim people. Yeah. Those kind of things. Do you get gigs, you know, considering your size? Um, not as much as I would like. 
um, not as much as the same people do. So I feel that most of the brands they still want to stick to what they know best. You know, they're not ready to explore. And then sometimes the brief doesn't really fit um, you know, the plus size. So the jobs are not as much as it should be. You know, that's part of the reason why some people are creating fashion shows, plus size fashion shows and all that for um, plus size models to be able to at least one way or the other they get to have one or two jobs. You know, but I don't think a plus size model can survive in Nigeria right now with mm. just being a plus size model. You should be able to have another job you know, mm. on the side also. Alright, that's bringing me to my next question. Do you have uh, another job as your side? Or host I'm or? a creative consultant. I develop content for okay. people and then um, into media too, basically. Okay. And fashion. Alright, so, uh, I mean, we live in a country where, and you know, adding weight, people get to start to ask you, ah, uh, this is not healthy yeah. for you, you're overweight, you know, a lot of times you go to the hospital, the yeah, doctors will tell you about it, so. you know, you're, you, you seem to be quite overweight. How is it for you, like, when people talk about you, you know, you know, health-wise, do people come to meet you and say, you, you don't look healthy, or, you know, how, how do you balance that? Okay, so some people reach out, like, ah, Jennifer, you should lose weight, though, because when you give birth, they mm. need to add up. So now the thing with me is, um, I try to work out okay. the best I can. I enjoy working out, because, like I said, dancer, so, yeah, so, the, that, yeah, yeah. so automatically gets me, I, I, I can do a lot of things that mm. most slim people wouldn't, you know, so, um, then I try to detox, I, I eat mm. right, I take fruits. Yeah, sometimes it's hard for you when you see cake, you know, you just want to stay away. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I try as m I plus size is amazing, but at the same time, I'm not okay for people to let themselves go and not work yeah. out that much for you. You can eat healthy and still be plus size. You know, everybody can be slim. Imagine we're in the world that everybody's slim. Uh, no. Yeah, it will be so boring. No, <laughs> but I mean, thick is life, yeah, man. Yeah. So you have to be as much as you are thick. Also remember that you have to yeah. eat right and then work out. You know, it doesn't have to be serious exercises. Just take walk, long walks, mm. and you know, dance in your house. You know, shake mm. up. Mm. All right, let's talk about like the issues on body shaming. We cannot act like this is not a problem sure. because, like I was telling you, too, even as I am, I get body shame. Yeah. It's true. Let alone I think you. Every plus size. Yeah. Person so, 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 you, so you get body shame. People get to ask you, are you adding so much weight? You know, and a Nigerian woman's problem is always, oh, my stomach is getting bigger. Yeah. My cheeks are getting fatter. <laughs> I'm not looking good. I'm having too much flabs and all that. You know, how do you? you know, channel your mind, because I, I don't think that you would ever pass, you know, people would always come and tell you, I think you're too fat or something yeah. like that. How do you deal with those kind of situations? Okay, so one thing I learned is that no matter what happens, people will always talk. Mm. You know, so if you are too good, <laughs> people will always talk. If you are you're not an overthinker, though. <laughs> no, I don't. Because I if you're such an overthinker, you would keep reminiscing on that same word. I you have, keep going I've back. I've learned to ignore. Okay. You know, I've learned to ignore, especially when they throw me on my comments. I know I just ignore. So I've learned with time that as long as they're plus size, they will always have something to say. Mm -hmm. So I was telling a friend of mine that a slim person will walk into an event looking all dressed up. Mm -hmm. Probably half of the people will turn. Yeah. You know, for me, if I walk in, everybody will turn. Why? Because half of the people are probably saying, ah, this plus size girl, she's mm -hmm. too fat. The yeah. other person is like, ah, I really like this girl, you know. So yeah. there's always something for them to say. So you just have to be comfortable in your own skin. As that's you are the person that matters most. Mm. You know, if I'm comfortable in the way I look, then every other thing every other person wants to say is their own business. Mm. So I just ignore and then do me. Mm -hmm. All right. Still on this same question, why do you think you know this like this is really t it has really taken you know plus size women like a long time to really be seen. Every day now we keep seeing specifications of what people want. Even yeah. you go online, yeah. people start giving. Oh, I want somebody. She must be slim. She <laughs> must be you know people who are looking for relationship, yeah. looking for all these things. Yeah. Uh, does it even affect your relationship wise? Because that's actually a very good question to ask. Oh um, yeah, kind of. It does. So I feel like the media has spent so much money trying to make slim the new, the sexy, mm. you know. So when you turn around, you see a slim girl in a music video wearing a bikini, True. you know, and then you step out, the clothes you want to buy is very pretty slim girl, you're wearing out. It, it makes you feel like, 
um, that if you are not slim, you know, you, you are not there, you are not sexy and all. And mm. the fitness and wellness company are making so much money from that, right? Because yeah, yeah. they come out today with, ah, oh, if you take weight two loss, days, they will lose weight. Yeah. At first, I told they just rush, you mm. know, because they feel like they have to fit in into what the society wants them to fit. Mm. You know, so um, I feel that a lot has been put in to make slim sexy. Mm. All, all right. Uh, have you ever been rejected before by maybe your love interest if he's like oh uh she's a nice girl but if only she was a bit slim i mean we, we yeah, face yeah, those kind of rejection yeah, sometimes. sometimes yeah once or twice mm. um more like ah she should just reduce more oh, that should make sense just lose your tummy mm. or lose this part but the thing now is okay fine i lose my weight for you and mm. then and then you go back again and then or you leave it for someone else. Yeah. You know? So if I have to lose it, it has to be because of me, not because of somebody yeah. else's opinion of how I should look. Because yeah. at the end of the day, I'm the one that it's in that particular body. It's True. not any other person. Yeah. So if you're not comfortable with I remember there was a time that for a very long time, I didn't mm. have stretch marks. I was so lucky. And then one day out of the blue, you uh, just saw stretch, marks. stretch marks. And... I always I do bikini, I do yeah. lingerie shoots and Please all that. Rock it. <laughs> so huh, it took me a while for me to accept Accessing. the new yeah. thing because I'm like, huh, those stretch marks yeah. are not okay. No problem. Yeah. I'm beautiful. I just had to convince Did myself yourself. that yeah. it's okay. So before it was like it disappeared. I didn't have to worry so much. Gosh, you yeah. know, because I feel like by the time we start paying attention to a particular thing. Yeah. You know, it makes it just us overwhelms you. Yeah, and it makes you insecure yeah. about how you look and every other thing. So, mm. I believe that it's us first before any other person. That's what's more important. Yeah. All right. So, what tips would you be giving to someone out there who is looking up to you and is like, "Oh, man, I feel comfortable in my skin now that I'm seeing Jennifer." <laughs> you know, and I really want to delve into you know the modeling industry yeah. you know a lot of times many I mean, there are many people who have always wanted to do one or two things in yeah. the industry yeah. and they just feel like ah, but i'm too fat they're always asking for <laughs> size eight all the time you know that kind of yeah. thing so what tips would you give to that woman out there that's okay. looking up to you so um first of all you have to accept who you are that's one you love yourself then to start taking you know courses online mm. you have people that um, put up videos mm. for those that want to learn how to model and you know how you dress also matter self care. You know you have to take care of your skin, your body, and your mind. And um, also then look for a photographer, a very good photographer, and makeup artist to do a proper shoot so to help boost your portfolio. So mm. put it out there and wait for the briefs or the castings to come. And All, right. For it. All right. So if you're wearing a model, what else would you do? Hmm. Okay, so I think I'll probably still be a TV presenter. Actually, mm. yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it can just be within um, yeah. media still. So you, you, you don't intend, you're still in the media um, yeah, industry. Yeah, so right? more like I would have, in the media industry, I'm more behind the scenes. Same, okay. Yeah, so but I would have been. Because we like to see your face more, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> so um, probably I would have just um, stopped being a presenter. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know, maybe movies. I'm not sure yet. Mm -hmm. Or okay. still has to do with something in front of the camera. Just All right. So what are you currently working on? What have you currently worked on? Um. So we did our plus and Sister fashion show last year October, and we were already mm -hmm. working on this year's one. We were hoping that this year is going to be way better mm -hmm. than last year. Then we have a couple of other projects that. Uh, we are working on we're still cooking in January, so I don't want to say it yet. Yeah. So I'll do on Tuesday. So um so yeah, so um this year I'm really hoping for more jobs and more collaborations. I'm open to mm -hmm. that and you know, stepping out of my comfort zone. So all right, uh, I've been talking to Jennifer <laughs> Enuju Jiha. Enuju. <laughs> Please, you're going to save me. Enuju. Enuju. Um, she has been talking about herself as being a plus size model, also yeah. as a creator, a content creator, also. And uh, I mean, tell us where we can follow you on social um, media. On social media, Jenny's all my accounts, Jenny's S, J E N Y Z E S T. Okay. 
Yeah, so um, on TikTok, it's Jenny Says Gang. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why is it different? <laughs> Why is it different? I always feel like these TikTok people yeah, are a different breed. Why is it different on I TikTok? I just wanted to put a bit of flair. That's ah. why. <laughs> this is it now. <laughs> yeah, so um, Jenny Says, J E N Y Z E S T. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so you've heard it from the horse's mouth. She has dropped it for you guys. Also, remember to equally like, share, and subscribe on all our social media platforms showing on your screen on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter again, please. Twitter again. Twitter again. And then go on our website, www.vanguardangel.com, to find out more. I am Precious Chukli, and thank you for watching. Thank you, Jennifer, for coming on. Thank you on. so much for having me. Bye.